Hey guys, on our Instagram page we posted an emoji animation and in this tutorial we're going to show you just how we made it. Okay, so this is the one that we posted on our Instagram page. I'll just run it for you guys so you can have a look. I'll go over the timeline section in just a moment but first if you open up a new document I'm going to make that 600 by 500. Once you've got that up we can start creating our images. We've already got ours made so we're just going to be using the same images. So this iMessage image is the background so we want that to be first. So if we just drag that over. Obviously if you guys want to use your own images you can just go file open and add any images that you want and just drag them in. So you can see that layers here. Next up we want to drag one of the emojis so we'll go with layer one you can position it wherever you want so we're just going to put it right there you can of course change which image appears at the top and which appears at the bottom so we could have the eye message appear above for example if you wanted to but in this case we don't so we're just going to move that back up if we just copy over another two so we got layer two you just position it wherever you want You can obviously move them about, if I want it there I'll put it there, but I want them all to be in the, pretty much the same place. And we'll just grab one more, right there. If you don't already have the timeline up, the way to get it up is, if you go window and hit timeline. Down here you can choose to create a video timeline or create a frame animation and that's the one we're going to go for, so just click into that. You'll see here you've got your first frame and you can actually see in this document what that frame consists of. You can see that it's got the crying laughing face emoji at the back. We obviously don't want that so what you need to do is in your layers box right here you need to hide the ones you don't want to see in the frame one. So we're going to hide all of these. We want the first emoji so we'll keep that. Next you can simply hit the duplicate button and that will duplicate. We've got four emojis so we're going to create four frames. So we've got our first one. In our second one we actually want to show another emoji. So we hide that one and show layer two instead. And you just repeat it for the next two. So we want layer three in this one. And we want layer four in the final one hiding layer one. That's it. Obviously you can go ahead and hit play. The time set to zero seconds so you're not going to get much of an animation. So if you just hit the little drop down here you can set a time. You can choose some of these pre-populated values or you can go into other and set, I don't know, if you wanted it to be 40 seconds for example you could set that. But that's a little bit too much for this animation. So we're going to go with 0.2 seconds. You can do this individually and of course set different times for different frames but we want them to be exactly the same. So I'm just going to go and select them all and it will go with 0.2. You can hit play and if you notice in this window here you'll see the animation go. So let's check it out. There you have it, it's easy as that. You can of course change the positioning of the emoji. So let's say we want to move, we're on the second frame so we're going to go to layer 2 and we're going to move that there. And layer 3, we'll move it to the top there. And the final one will move right to the bottom there. And now let's play it. It's almost like a bouncing ball. And if that's the effect that you want to go with, then great. But obviously, play around with it. And I hope this tutorial helped. Have fun.